America can win the race to build powerful AI, and winning the race is a necessary but not sufficient achievement. We have to get safety right. Jack Clark is the co-founder of Anthropic. Clark came to Capitol Hill in June to testify before the House Select Committee on China to talk about AI and authoritarianism. His company, Anthropic, is a billion-dollar startup on the cutting edge of innovation with his generative AI model, Claude Opus 4. When I discuss powerful AI, I'm talking about AI systems that represent a major advancement beyond today's capabilities. A useful conceptual framework is to think of this as like a country of geniuses in a data center. Someone enters their diary into Claude for a year and then asks Claude to guess what they did not write down, Claude is able to accurately predict what they left out. Isn't that right? Uh, sometimes that's accurate, yes. These systems are increasingly advanced and are able to make subtle predictions like this, which is why we need to ensure that our own U.S. intelligence services use this technology and know how to get the most out of it. The idea that my computer could turn on me and use my banking data or whatever else it, it had uh, is uh, concerning. Uh, should I be worried? And if not, why not? You shouldn't be worried because the AI companies building this technology do this safety research and publish it openly and do this safety research increasingly in partnership with parts of the U.S. government, like, you know, Casey within NIST. I think what we may want to turn our attention to is how we ensure that we have a culture where U.S. companies are continuing to publish this research into the, into the future and a culture where we closely study Chinese models for the same behaviors. You'll know about it insofar as it may occur at the US frontier, but you won't know about it if it occurs in Chinese models, which is where severe risks could come from. It seems to me that uh, safety and speed are conflicting values. When you prioritize one, you get trade-offs in the other. Uh, you noted that we have to get safety right. And I just, I'm curious, how substantial is the risk that by doing that, we inhibit our ability to win this race? Uh, thank you for this question. Um, we all buy cars because we know that if they, if they get dinged, we're not going to uh, suffer in them because they have airbags and they have seat belts. You've grown the size of the car market by innovating on safety technology, and American firms compete on safety technology to sell to, to, to consumers. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips. And thanks for watching.